Marie Curie was born in 1867 into a teacher's family in Warsaw, Poland. Due to her family's poverty, she often survived on cold potatoes. At the age of 16, she graduated as the top student but was rejected by universities because of her gender, so she secretly taught herself chemistry. When she was 24, she went to Paris to study, living in an attic and surviving on bread. Even after fainting in the laboratory, she still persisted in her research. At 28, after marrying Pierre Curie, the couple shared a bicycle and devoted themselves to researching radioactive substances. At 31, she discovered polonium and radium in a shabby laboratory, personally crushing tons of pitchblende. When she was 35, her husband Pierre died in a car accident. She cried while holding his old overcoat but continued with her experiments. At 36, she became the first female recipient of the Nobel Prize in Physics. In the face of doubts, she said, science has no gender. At 43, she extracted pure radium to prove the theory of radioactivity, but her health weakened due to radiation exposure. At 46, she won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry again, creating a legend for female scientists. When she was 50, World War I broke out. She took X-ray machines to the front line to treat wounded soldiers, and her daughter Irene accompanied her. At 60, she was afflicted with radiation sickness but still guided her students. Her laboratory notes still need radiation protection for preservation to this day. Marie passed away at the age of 67, with her last words being, I never regretted touching those glowing substances. She illuminated the world with science and also paved the way for women in the scientific community. She once said, I have never been defeated by failure, for curiosity is my best armor.